Welcome, my friends. It is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and we are looking at Picture in Picture on iPhone as part of iOS 14. Now, this feature has been a long time coming. It originally launched with the iPad, which was nice, but we really wanted it on iPhone. Now, there's a few different ways you can invoke this. Say we're watching 30 Rock here. You can tap on the little Picture in Picture icon and immediately go small screen. Move around the OS, go into different apps, be texting, be in Safari, whatever you want to do while letting this video play at the same time. But there's another option as well. You don't have to tap on that little picture in picture icon each time. Instead, you just play the video and then swipe up to your home screen and the video will continue to play. And if you don't want it anymore, just tap on that X in that left hand corner. So what else can you do with picture in picture? Well, it's pretty simple and kind of mirrors what you can do on the Mac and on the iPad. When in picture in picture, you can use play pause, jump or back 15 seconds, exit and go back to full screen. Now there are some limitations. Here we are in the YouTube app and unfortunately there's no way to jump into picture in picture. Go back to the home screen, no options, uh, there's no icon there, nothing you can do. And this is not just the problem with the YouTube app, there are other apps as well that don't let you use picture in picture. But fortunately this should be up to the time iOS drops and you can even use YouTube inside of Safari and that will work with picture in picture. So that is a minor workaround for now if you want to still be able to watch YouTube videos in picture in picture on iOS 14. So now let's look a little bit more. Now you can jump and make this thing full screen or at least full half screen while in picture in picture and you'll notice that it sits about roughly halfway across the phone when it's all the way small. But if you are watching an ultra wide screen movie, it'll actually be a little bit larger than just half the width across. And when you're not using it, you can just move it to the side. It's going to continue to play and play audio at the same time. So you can still hear what's going on even if you're not watching the video. Great way to listen to something in the background while you're getting other stuff done. The picture in picture view is also very smart. As you can see, it hides right above the dock, just hovers right above there. If you go into somewhere with a keyboard view, again, it'll hover just above that keyboard. So it's not getting into your way. And while this works great for videos, it also works for FaceTime calls. So you can actually take a FaceTime call and continue to move about your iPhone while still being on that call. We love picture in picture. We were excited when it came to iPad and even more excited now that it is coming to iPhone. So I want to hear what you guys think. Reach me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and let me know what you think of picture in picture. Are you excited? Going to kick back and watch some AI YouTube videos? Let me know and we'll see you next time. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.